Hello again, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. That's my swipe card. That's my 12 inch by 24 inch canvas. This is me being totally frivolous and I think I am going to do some really weird stuff that I do not entirely know what will be, but I know that I will do it and have some fun doing it. See how far that'll go over. And then, let's use the side that I want to use. Let's use an entirely different card <laughs> with some purple cell activator and see what happens. I'm just feeling really, fr 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 really fr frivolous and tongue-tied. That was my purple flash from Folk Art. That is a Venetian blue. I'm going to use some of my Amsterdam white cell activator mixed with Aussie Floetrol. Spread all over that card better than that, hopefully. So my, uh, my entire plan revolves around just starting. And from there, I will worry about nothing. I will just go. Sort of like when I do abstract expressionism. I like it better when my turntable isn't turning and I do actually have a break. And I think I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing because the other day I did a practice run with one of my little acetate tools on an 8 by 10 inch canvas and uh, it didn't take too long. I didn't make a recording of it, but it was very popular on Instagram. I want something darker in there too. And I have seldom given myself absolute permission to do whatever I want, and this is what I want to do, and this is absolute permission. Although I want some of that down there. Some of that over here. Now I'm going to do black or white. Black. Cell activator that's black is made of Amsterdam black added into American Floetrol with pre stained wood conditioner from Minwax in it. So I think I better get busy over here. And I want to go both in and out and up and down. And I think I could actually, probably, most likely, <laughs> try and do this without any cell activator, and I bet I would still get some cells. So I'll let you know in a second. That is the Venetian blue again. That is the purple flash from Folk Art. This is something I haven't used yet today. I believe that that is the Artist Loft Amethyst. I want a little bit of black, which I will probably use the residual of. I'm going to do, what am I going to do there? Am I going to use the purple? I am. I have Master's Touch Purple. This is fun for me, and I get to keep playing with how I apply things, which makes me happy also. <clears throat> I 
And I'd love to, someday I will do a painting <laughs> where I just add things like that. I'm going to do half black and half white, I think. Whoops, that was a lot more black than white. I should use a different width card. And I do want to add some color right in there, which might have taken away some of the contrast I was enjoying up until that moment. I'm going to try and use my purple flash as my swipe color. I just made a painting with the purple flash on top of some black and it flashes electric blue. It is so incredibly pretty. I cannot even tell you. I've got some folk art neon purple. And anything goes. Oh, even silver. Okay, that silver is not enough silver. And I want something else with it. I haven't used any of my Anita's White Metallic, which is surprising because I use it for everything. But in this case, I'm allowing the residuals to stay right on my card. And it's not beyond me to steal a little paint to fill in a gap. <clears throat> that is cell activator. It's time for the Anita's White Metallic. And maybe a little more purple flash. And yes, I did never, I never did grab a larger card and I did move that over and I am going to use whatever paint will come off right there <coughs> and I feel like I need some gold. right down here, maybe along with some black. I don't know if you can see that, so I'm going to try and move it in. So I'm definitely appreciating the cells in here, except for that white. And I am developing more cells as I go along. <coughs> Excuse me. I really want to look for another small tool. I need a bunch of longer ones. I'm going to go, oh, that looks like it's bent in an odd angle. I see something that does not belong, which caused me untold anxiety recently. And then the painting was done and it was still pretty and I got over it. That was not enough. I hope I'm going to have enough time, but I always wanted to do this, so... Oh, yeah, don't put them in your way if you don't want them to fall over. Twice, three times? Wow, and that one spilled. Alright, so I like this. But not necessarily... I got it. I have upholstery tacks that are 
keeping my bottles open when I remember to use them. Do I have a card handy? I do. I gotta keep leaving my bottle. I gotta move my bottles out of the way. All right, since I can't make that go all the way to the outside. Maybe I can by going back again, although I really like that black there. I like to texturize my marks. Except for right there where I was trying to cover an edge and I failed. So this is neat. This is not a keyhole swipe. Because I'm not leaving anything behind. And let's see how much time we've got left. I've got almost six minutes and then another couple after that. Let's be frivolous. I haven't used any white metallic. I think it will disappear, which is what usually happens. That is not a purple flash. That is a folk art neon purple. <coughs> Sick of the frog in my throat. Like, totally. That's not very different. I want some more blue. Here. And there. Yes, I am. I am frivolously filling in spaces, and I will use the turquoise soon. Excuse me, please. All right, and the dioxazine purple is a modern master's, no, nope, master's touch. So I did the whole rest of this differently than I'm doing it right now, but I don't mind. How about some silver, too? Okay, time go time. And I put my white select vader in with the rest of my paint. Clever girl. Yes, that is the correct... any dry spots so I will go back and remove them excuse me for sniffing and coughing and things I've just recently gotten over <clears throat> being somewhat ill for an extended period and I'm excited to be back to work If you need a color that I'm using and you don't know what it is and I haven't told you, please feel free to ask. I will do my best, even if I have to watch the video, to tell you. Now when I have an excess of paint left and I can feel it on my card, that's the moment. I want some pale blue. And I don't have anywhere anywhere else, but the silver is kind of light, so I might get away. I would get away with it if it were open. Well, evidently that's a sign I'm not supposed to do that. Oh, well it would have been if I hadn't found some more. I like to have enough paint to pull through. No, I was going to use the dioxazine purple there, but I'm not going to do it. I want some of this. And if I have extra, I'll just share the love and send it on. And you see, I'm not working too hard at cleaning off my swipe card at all. There's no avoiding the paint fumes. 
Even though I can't smell them, I know they're probably there making my nose run and me cough. I am almost done and I think I want more Purple Flash from Folk Art. And I have beautiful colors on both sides of my card. If I remember not to flip All right, so black and white together, which may or may not be a good idea, but at least there was enough paint. I love those little black puddle puddles left behind. I'd like to have enough paint to cover my end pieces. If not, my edges. I think I'll be covering the edges with black. That was fun. I could definitely take a skewer and run it through a few places. Let's just do that. So I never minded a few lines added. I don't think they're hurting anything. And the canvas underneath is black, so pretty safe. Now you could add a color if you wanted to. Like that. That came from the last stripe. Sometimes it helps to hold it down. I seem to be pretty fortunate in that my colors balanced out. You don't have to make the skewer go all the way across. I have one place right here that's bugging me and I can fix that by adding a few lines. And I can continue because once the paint starts to get a little tacky it will pull up. If you stick the skewer in there, don't be surprised. And if I want some pink and I see a heavy purple, excuse me, I see a heavy puddle, I'm gonna go ahead and steal that. Same with the gold and the turquoise right here. And break up that silver. I'm pretty happy with this, although I do have some turquoise. I see a puddle. Yes. So all that is a lot of fun and I'm loving the cells even though they're not, you know, like monumental. They're still really super interesting. And I could go through by the edges and I can either do black or I could match my colors if I thought I wanted to. So this is Priscilla Van Sell in Spring Hill, Florida, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Saying please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Check my Amazon link, it's on the link tree, which is the first blue link under the video, unless I put the tools video on. And if I forgot it, let me know. Otherwise look for Creating Acetate Tools uh, tutorial and you'll find that there. Not that I use them an awful lot, but I use them some. My email address is below the link tree when you click show more. You'll find my email address to contact me regarding purchasing an artwork or reserving a private class one-on-one -on -one with me at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Also, what was I going to say? I forgot. Anyway, the link tree has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. I should zoom in on that. Oh, that's so pretty from out here. Cool. That's going to be even prettier when it dries. So let's just go down there. And I know, I'm totally an instinctive artist. And you're going to be gone in a minute. So I should tell you that there's a monthly drawing and you can get into it by making a contribution through PayPal. Or, yeah, PayPal. Bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. You'll find, on my YouTube channel, you'll find the community board in tomorrow's video often. And look for playlists, all playlists, creative playlists, to find over 2300 videos. If you have questions, please ask me. If you're looking for my paint pouring recipe, it's underneath the video when you click show more. If I forgot something like Teespring clothing, which is now spring clothing under the video, any shopping you do with my art on it helps me buy art supplies. My Amazon link has my two books and the AXA omelet turning flip and fold spatula. And because I can, and the limited possibilities are the names of volumes one and two of the books. 
I think you're going to be gone in half a split second. So I'm going to say I love you.